Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Invert Color Node. And this is another DaVinci Resolve node available within Fusion. So we're going to jump into Fusion. And uh, this is not a very exciting node, but it is a very well used node. So we're going to go ahead and bring in an Invert Color. And we're going to add it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty basic, but since we're doing node breakdowns of every single node, we even have to do the ones that are simple and super short. So we're going to do the invert color. And all the invert color node does is it inverts color. And this is not a negative plugin to like get a negative, even though you can get that negative look. It's actually inverting your color on independent channels. So we can invert only on the red, only on the green, only on the blue, or we could do a combo of all of them. In addition to uh, inverting your R, G, and B channels, we can also invert our alpha. In addition, we can use this in line. So if say we're uh, creating masks for anything, We've got a mask. Let's go ahead and add another one. And uh, let's get a little multi-merge going. And uh, let's change our rectangle up. So we've got two shapes creating our mask. We could always use our invert color to invert our alpha. And it's going to invert our alpha. And yeah, I know the rectangle has an invert on it. But you may need to use this anywhere in your line to invert specific things. Additionally, it's a good way to uh, just add this and know you inverted something without uh, not realizing it and have to check every single note. So that is the invert color node. I will see you in the next note breakdown.